you're headed out the door towards the Manoa or St. Louis Heights area, we've got an early morning heads up for you. A large water main break near Cunning White Park. And Jai, you've been like, every time we come to you, you have something new that's even bigger and not so good. Good morning to you, Jai. <laughs> And you know what? I don't want to disappoint, but yeah, we do have more information for you as far as an, an update. I'll step out of the way and you can see a little bit of the work that's being done. And they're still trying to, to work on isolating. Board of Water Supply's whole thinking is they, they're trying to make this the least impact that they can on the community. But we just found out, and literally just right now, I want to uh, welcome in Kathleen Pahinui because you have the very latest. Yes, sir. Who, who's going to be affected because uh, what you were hoping to do was to shut off a valve and make it very small, but it's not quite going to be just that, right? No, unfortunately, the outage is going to be much more significant and will include all of St. Louis at this point. That's what we're expecting. And uh, we're working to isolate as we speak. And uh, hopefully, once that is done, we'll be able to affect the repair very quickly. Uh, but again, please, uh, the road is closed between St. Louis Heights Drive and East West Road. We expect we will be here in the area probably for at least the next 24 hours. Uh, and also, just a general reminder that even at once the break is fixed, we do need to pave, which means the road even won't be opened as soon as we like, but uh, parts of it may be. The road is open to local traffic. We will, uh, uh, residents and anyone picking up their children at the various schools uh, will be able to get through. Kathleen, I know that you have a couple of different water wagons in the area. Once you're able to best figure out, is that when you'll be able to tell uh, residents w where those wagons yes, are? Yes, and we will be uh, alerting people. Also, please uh, check out our Facebook and Twitter. Uh, that will also provide people with the latest information and Honolulu.info. One more thing that I'd like to share mm -hmm. is that if today is your trash day, uh, the Department of Environmental Services it says just please leave your trash cans out. They will come back in the next couple of days to pick up your trash so don't worry your trash will get picked up but we just want to get that message out there and again local residents can access the road but uh, only people that live on the road we are not opening it through any tr through traffic and unfortunately the uh, outage appears it's going to be much larger than we originally anticipated and we do apologize for we, we know will be a terrible inconvenience to our customers but we will are moving as quickly and as effectively as we can. Kathleen, thank you very thank much. You, and, and obviously, your help. yeah, we will continue to keep folks updated as well. So it looks like a, a few hundred customers are going to be in, uh, uh, impacted by this water shutdown. Again, uh, Dole is closed between St. Louis Heights Drive all the way down to east west as they continue to work on this issue, trying to uh, get it sort of isolated and fixed. And then also, heads up in some areas, we understand Kapilani Community College in the Diamond Head area, it's also experiencing some low water pressure uh, to join. So, Diamond Head area, uh, Palolo, as well as Kaimo Key, uh, as well as Wilhelmina Rise, all areas that have been impacted because of that uh, line that they had to, uh, the, the uh, big line that they had to shut down a little earlier, that supply line. So we'll keep you updated, not only on air, but online as well at kh12.com.